Hi everyone, it's Dr. Palacios here, and I'm going to talk today about migraine headaches and food triggers. Now the comment is going to give us some insight as to what kind of foods can either trigger or worsen a migraine. When we were first dating, I didn't know that now my husband was subject to migraines. On one date, the picnic basket I carried was red wine, aged cheeses, and salami. Well, as you may know, that date didn't go very well when I learned about migraines and foods. I've also noticed that skipping meals can trigger a migraine for my spouse. So in today's episode, I want you to understand three major reasons and ideas surrounding food triggers and migraines. So our first discussion is gonna be about what are some common food triggers. Our second one is going to be about how to discover the food trigger. And then the third one, I'm gonna briefly mention how to eliminate the food trigger if you suspect you found it. Now, when it comes to migraines, it is important to understand that skipping meals overall can actually have a detrimental effect. And this goes because when you don't have enough energy resources in your body, that sometimes can trigger a migraine. And if you may or may not know, but in the 40s, before the term was coined migraines, it was known to be hypoglycemic headache. So it is important to not skip meals, or if you do have the help of a professional who can guide you on how to prevent migraine attacks. Now, let's go into the first category of foot triggers. What are some common foot triggers for migraines? Now there are four groups, but I'm also going to mention other groups that could potentially lead to migraines or trigger them. The first food, to watch out for is going to be chocolate, especially the cheap kind. The second food that can trigger a migraine are cheese. And in this case, the older, the worse. The third food is citrus fruits. So it's not all about junk, even fruits who are that are supposed to be healthy can trigger a migraine. In this case, those are the citrus. So the citrus groups involve lemons, oranges, tangerines, grapefruit. The fourth one is going to be alcohol, but not all kinds. In this case, we are specifically targeting beer and red wine. Those are the common classical foods that doctors tell migraine patients to stay away from. But if we see in forums and other discussions, Migraineurs tend to have other forms of foods that can trigger or induce a migraine. We have leftover foods, believe it or not, there's the compound in red wine that can also be accumulated in leftover food, which is called tyramine, that can also trigger a migraine. Uh, also, ethnic cuisine. And mostly I'm talking about Hispanic, Asian, Indian, which, you know, Indian is Asian. These kinds of dishes tend to have lots of different spices. And one of these could be the culprit to your migraine. Another food to keep in mind are those high in nitrates. So those are all your preserved meats, which includes salami, processed meats, hot dogs, and pepperoni, just to name a few. Anything that's packaged, and if you see in the ingredients, it has the word nitrates in it. Those are the ones you wanna be careful with. And the last one in a minor group, but it still can affect others, is our good old friend, gluten. Now, how do we discover our food trigger? And this is going to be based on written evidence, which means that you might wanna have your migraine diary or some kind of food diary with you. So you, keep, you can keep track of all of that. Now, there are three things that we can try. 
So the first thing that we can start with is to write down what you had for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, even especially if you had little snacks. And then we need to take a look at around 24 hours later, which food may have given you a migraine. That's why we need to have a written evidence to recollect and go back to see what foods might have been the cause. The second thing we wanna keep in mind is to star every time you go outside to eat. And then number three is to write down the spices that were put in your food or that you put yourself in case you cook at home. We are reaching our last category, which is how to eliminate our food trigger in case you weren't able to find the culprit. Now, whether you found the food or not, these are good practices to keep in mind just to help us avoid any future episodes. First thing we want to do, we want to avoid the food if you found it for a few weeks and note any changes in your migraine patterns. Second, we want to eat more clean foods, which I mentioned, you know, don't consume too many leftovers. And then lots of fruits and vegetables, except citrus fruits. Let's also try to avoid excess spices. And then lastly, we got to stay hydrated and consistent with our meals throughout the day and consistent with our written memories of journaling. And I want to leave you with this quote that talks about how migraines can be different for everyone. And this is by George Ade, who says, one man's poison ivy is another man's spinach. And this is a reminder to let everyone else know and prevent to tell others what to do when it comes to their migraines. For example, you may have a person who understands his or her migraines and then tries to advocate and tell others some common foods that they could avoid. However, it's not going to work perfectly because if you're migraine triggers are chocolate, the other person triggers might be something else. So we can encourage the person to find their own triggers, but we cannot tell them what to avoid because we don't know if that's the trigger or not. And if you like to work together and address the root causes of your migraines, please click on my bio link below. And we can also find alternative ways to your migraines and other conditions as well. And it's all at the comfort of your home. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.